little pop-up message. We want to see what spirit wants the collective to receive. All right. Oh, spirit is the universe and the most high. What does the collective need to receive right now? What? Okay. Let me see what you're for. All right. So we have avoiding you or you avoiding them. We got no love in the bottom of the deck. All right. Let's see what else. We got a copycat. Celibate, <clears throat> celibate endings, forgiveness, reverse, holding on. So whatever they were trying to send your way, I feel like Spirit is saying is reverse. If you're having a situation with a copycat, um, then I'm also seeing here that maybe you going through like a separation or something, an ending. And let me see. Okay, we have here um, new beginnings. And what we have on the bottom of the deck, let's see. We got secret competition. So, secret competition and copycat is giving me the same energy. Like, there's somebody who's low key copying your swag. Um, I feel like whoever you're dealing with that is, you're having this ending with, I see holding on and I see new beginnings. So, you could be having a new beginning with this person. They don't wanna let you go. We have forgiveness here. Okay, so maybe you thought you were going to end up being celibate or something, but no. And then, look, we have Big Mad. This could be com connecting to the secret competition. Somebody that's copy, you know, copying your energy. Okay. Look, truth. Spirit is like, yup, hello. So we have communi communicate. I feel like this person. So I feel like we, we have two situations here. Okay, um... This person that you're having like this forgiveness with or whatever's going on here, they're going to communicate with you. They're going to want to, uh, you know, work things out. All right. So everybody's telling you to remain optimistic. Okay. Okay. We have to stand your ground. They just falling out. All right. All right. So we have stand your ground. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have lovers and friends. And I feel like that's what we're picking up on too. Like, whatever's going on here is like lovers. And this is like maybe like some friend, fake friend energy. Okay, so we're telling you to stand your ground. Maybe with the secret competition. Yeah, I just saw I just saw jealousy. I saw jealousy again. Okay. Look, you stay on their mind. We have cele celebrating. We have all. Uh, there's a lesson here to learn. Let me see what fell on the floor. Yeah, we have fresh start. So whatever's going on. And on the bottom of the deck, they're literally praying on your downfall. But the most high is reversing that shit right back 10 times. Yeah, we have reverse. So that's what I'm saying. Like you have somebody, somebody that's trying to compete with you or some shit. And they're trying to send maybe like a uh, evil eye or, you know, just bad vibes or um, they're trying to block you from whatever it is that you're trying to do, from being successful, from getting to your goal. All right. Because they, they low key in a, in a secret competition with you. And Spirit is telling you that whatever they're trying to do is going right back to them. Okay. Now you could be avoiding this person and they're letting you know that this person is going to come in with some type of communication. All right. I feel like they want to celebrate, you know, they want to have a fresh start with you. Okay. This celebrating could also be connected to you and whatever you're doing. You're going to be celebrating soon. And Spirit is letting you know that, you know, you got somebody here trying to stop you and shit, but it ain't going to work. All right? And you stay on this person's minds. You probably stay on both of their minds. Notice how I put it right there. I feel like you stay on both of these people's minds. You got this hater over here lurking, wanting to be like you, uh, you know, wishing wishing on your on your downfall and shit like that. And then we have this one that you, you know, you on his mind and he's going to reach out to you soon. So we have, there's a lesson to learn here. There's a lesson to learn here. could be um, with both these situations. We're going to see what else we get. But I feel like for sure, um, there's a lesson to learn here is like with both these situations. All right. Okay. If anybody was worried about their health, we have your health is A1. Okay. We have here, it's a trap. We have recognition. I feel like you definitely are going to get recognition with whatever it is that you're doing. Okay. That's what they're trying to block. They're trying to stop that shit. 
Look, <laughs> and look, you see what I'm saying? Angelic protection. You are protected. All right. Again, with the reverse, whatever they're trying to block is being blocked. <laughs> you know, like they're trying to send shit your way to block your, your path, block you from getting this recognition, these rewards, this abundance. Look, bang. Spirit is like, nope, it ain't going to work. So it's a trap could be connected to this person. Okay. Uh, maybe they're trying to, they're going to reach out to you, you know, trying to be cool with you or whatever. And Spirit is like, nope. So we have diet change. It's telling you to eat more fruits, drink more water, but this could be like, you know, like it's a diet, you know, like, uh, you can't afford these people. Like, you know, you, you got, you're on a strict diet. You understand? That's what I'm picking up with this car right now. Like, you know, like don't engage with these people. Like it's time to declutter. Okay. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So this person that's competing with you could be a Gemini, a Libra or an Aquarius. Okay. Or you could be those signs, but, um, Spirit is letting you know you're going to get your recognition, your rewards, your abundance. All right. Yeah. Look, fake friends. Exactly. Yeah. Look, trust your gut. All right. This person is not your friend. This person is, um, going to probably try to come in, try to act like they cool and shit like that. And it's like, Spirit is trying to tell you, no, don't even believe these people. Keep doing what you're doing. It's going to pay off. You see, they probably want to come in, try to jump on your wave because they see that they cannot compete with you. Yeah, look, def defamation of character. I feel like this uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius is probably talking shit about you. They probably, you know, um, look at that. They scared. They scared because everything that they send in your way is getting reversed. Yeah. Huh. I feel like they definitely talking shit about you. You know, they gossiping about you. Yeah, look, haters. You know what I'm saying? They gossiping about you, talking shit about you. Yeah, look, opportunists. That's what I said. That this person is going to try to come in, trying to act like they're cool, that they want to be friends again or whatever the situation is because they see that you're getting your recognition, your rewards, your abundance. You're on top of your shit. You're on top of the game right now. And they want to be opportunists. You know, they want to they wanna get, you know, a piece of your, of what you've been building. And it's like, nah, bitch, fuck out of here. So we have let, let go of what you cannot control. All right, we are haters, like I said. Yeah, look, the haters are suffering in silence. Look at what was on the bottom. They're definitely suffering in silence. They're watching you do your thing. And that's why this, this friend, fake friend, want to come back and save your life. Uh, let go of what you cannot control. Like, basically, Spirit is telling you, you know, like, don't try to take control of the situation. You know, like, don't don't try to be petty or nothing. Like, just let it be. Like, let, let Spirit handle it. As you can see, whatever they're doing is being reversed. All right, yeah, look, apology. I feel like they're going to try to come back. And hit you with an apology, like, oh, I'm sorry, and shit like that. Like, fuck that. That's not going to work. Okay, so we have a couple of months. Maybe they're coming in in a couple of months. Friend, family, see what I'm saying? Fake friends. Acceptance. I feel like they need to accept it, that it's not going to work. Uh, we have here, watch out for the feathers, signs from spirit. So basically, that's just saying, like, watch out for the synchronicities, for the signs, and shit like that. Like, right now, this reading is a sign. This reading is giving you confirmation. It's giving you the clarity you was looking for. If you was already being suspicious about this person, this is your, your sign right here. This is the feather. You know, this is the angel number. This is the sign. You was guided here to, to get this clarity, to get this message. Yeah, and they also want you to know that slow and steady progress, you are making slow and steady progress. We saw recognition. So you are going to get what you want. Like they said, keep doing what you're doing. It's going to pay off. So you, you slow and steady, baby. Keep doing what you're doing. All right. So, yeah, look, we got divine protection right there. Bang, hold on. Divine protection. Let's see what else we got. All right, spirit. What else does the collective need to receive? What do I need to receive? Oh, okay. Whoa, I like how that came out right now. Y'all peep that? That's what's up. Yeah, look, they can't let it go. All right? This person that's going to try to communicate with you, trying to be friends with you again, they cannot let it go. They're running on their ego. You know, they want revenge. You know, they want to come back and try to fuck shit up. It ain't going to work. Immune to attacks. Like I said, you got a lot of clarification here with that, with the reverse, with the angelic protection, and you are immune to attacks. You are divinely guided and protected, okay? No matter what the fuck they try to send your way, it is not going to happen, all right? You could be life path 11, life path 22, life path 33. This is master numbers, so you are highly intuitive, all right? You could be um, a tarot reader. You could be... Uh, a spiritual teacher, okay? Yeah, look, we have someone from your past. Basically, this friend, they're trying to come back. It ain't going to work. All right. Thought you wasn't going to be anything. Hello. Yeah, they thought you was bougie. You see what I'm saying? Look, they thought you was bougie. Look, look at the card right behind that. 
The, they thought it says the grass looks green because it's fake. They thought you was fake. They thought you was bougie. They was just hating. They thought you wasn't going to be anything. And look at you now. Look at you now. Recognition, rewards, slow and steady progress. Come on now. They thought you wasn't going to be anything. Ha. Huh. Now they want a piece of the, of the fame and all that shit of the abundance. It's not like, it's not going to work, bro. People are weird. Opportunist, indeed. That exactly. That is exactly the word. Opportunist. Is that? Hey, I can't beat them. Might as well join them. <laughs> I'm good, bro. Mm -mm. Anything else, spirit? All right. So let me pull from this pile. They look scammer. They fake as fuck. All right, spirit. Drug user. Again, life path 33. I'm definitely talking to a life path 33 here. Um... That's my life app too. Hey, shout out to y'all. So drug user, all right? This person could be on drugs. They could be popping perks. They could be uh, alcoholic. They could be, you know, heavy on the drugs, okay? Spirit wants you to know this. Okay, we have CEO Genetics. Oh, that's you right there. You building an empire, all right? Unexpected. Yeah, they thought you wasn't going to be shit. And look at you. Little did they know you had CEO Genetics. Huh. You was meant, yeah, this shady female. You see what I'm saying? You was meant to um, <clears throat> level up, all right? You was here for a reason, all right? You, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing right now. That's what spirit is telling you to keep doing it. Toxicity, yeah, the shady females trying to come in with, with toxicity. Graveyard dirt. Yeah, what I said, toxicity. This bitch is fucking... You could be a life path number two as well. Um, Black magic, bro. Black magic. Trying to stop your shit. So that's what Spirit kept saying throughout the entire reading. Reverse, 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 bitch. You are protected. They doing graveyard dirt. They out here trying to do spell work. Uh, blood sacrifices. Whatever the fuck they doing, it ain't working. They really thought that you wasn't on that type of time. No, we got sexually transmitted disease, ex-lover, <laughs> ex-friend. So this fake friend probably is burning right now, okay? We have here, oh, maybe she is dealing. We have stepfather. Oh, uh, This could be stepfather, stepfather-in-law. This could be father-in-law. This could be father, okay? I just put everything in one card applying to, you know, the cards. So this could be that maybe she got, you know, a STD from her baby father, okay? So we have kids here. So if it's a female that is a, a Libra, a Gemini, an Aquarius, um, this female got an STD from her baby father. Yeah, look, what I just said, her ex-husband. All right, so she got she got, she got, got an STD from that dude because she didn't set boundaries. And Spirit is telling you to set boundaries as well. This bitch is bugging. This bitch is burning, bro. Low vibrational and burning. Oof. Right, so yeah look they met their match with you huh <laughs> yeah look regret they thought that you wasn't gonna be shit right they thought that you wasn't protected right everything they try to send you away is going right back to them times 10 they met their fucking match with you they regretting doing whatever the fuck they did in that graveyard okay we got trigger selfish yeah this bitch is selfish this bitch is a hater uh she wants all the attention i guess you know and you trigger her you trigger her with your with the way you love yourself, you trigger her with the way you carry yourself. You trigger her with your um, with your recognition, you know? She hates that people like you. She hates that people fuck with you. Yeah, look, declutter, spirit sending you. Don't let this person in your life, okay? Yeah, look, they're looking at you online. They mad. Like I said, they're still holding on to the bullshit, all right? She's coming in like a scammer. She's going to act like, you know, things are all good. Like, oh, I want to be your friend again. We cool, whatever. But hello, she's still holding on to the bullshit. Like we saw with the ego. She cannot let it go, all right? Secret competition. 
declutter. Yeah, she's trying to outsmart you. <laughs> Little should the, does she know that you are outsmarting her because you already know, you already peep game. You understand? Look, we got money hungry. Exactly. Like, you know, she's a fucking, um, a gold digger, bro. Like, an opportunist. She's just trying to come in for an opportunity and she's not going to get that. Spirit is saying to limit access. Do not give that person access. All right, so we were talking about somebody and their person in the beginning. I guess Spirit just wanted you to know that that person is going to reach out. Yeah, <laughs> yo. <laughs> exactly what I'm talking about. Look. <laughs> yo, I'm flirting. Yo, this is what I'm saying. Like, I was like feeling this energy over right here now with this with this person. So whoever's dealing with the person, this person, yeah, like if they was with somebody or some shit or if you are breaking up with them, which is why we see that you was avoiding them or whatever, they're going to definitely reach out to you with communication. They're going to be flirting with you, all right? So I, I felt like, you know, yeah, like that was, that's hidden. You know, they have hidden feelings. Yeah, look, life partner, all right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I was feeling like I had to touch on that real quick because I noticed we just jumped into to this hater en uh, energy right away. And look, that's why Spirit was trying to tell me. Like, let them know whoever's still waiting for this news right here with this person that they're going to get their communication. They're going to, um, you know, have this reconciliation, this, you know, with the flirting and shit like that. I feel like, you know, this person is probably going to try to come back and shit like that. They're going to hit you up. You know, they want to celebrate with you. I feel like you have a lot of good things coming your way. We have fresh start here. So they definitely want to, um, definitely wants to celebrate with you and have a, a new beginning. All right, so Spirit, anything else? Anything else to close out? Okay, so we have numerical numerical um, symbolism. This is basically the angel numbers, the signs, okay? Basically, you've been seeing 1111, 222, 333, 444, okay? 555, 666, 777, whatever. You've been seeing the angel numbers. Um, and I feel like, you know, this right here, like I said earlier, is just another sign, like the angel numbers, okay? Secretly with somebody else, that we have criminal. Okay, right on the deck, we have best friend. And enemies will be exposed, okay? So, enemies will be exposed and uh, best friend, like I said, fake, fake friends here, okay? This person is secret competition, they're not your friend, okay? Uh, don't be friends with them if they try to come back into your life. We have criminal secretly with somebody else, okay? So I feel like um, maybe she, maybe she's a criminal. Maybe she's dealing with a criminal. Yeah, we have again Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. For sure, you're dealing with somebody who is an air sign, for sure, okay? I think it's just this hater energy. She could be an air sign. But um, yeah, Spirit's giving me confirmation. Yeah, they met their match. For some of y'all, this is an ex-co-worker. Maybe she used to work with you or she works in your field. Oh my God, yeah, look, work. Again, some of y'all work with this person or y'all worked with this person. All right, so bottom of the deck right here, we got reconciliation. So for sure, she's gonna try to come back into your life and uh, Spirit just wants you to block it. Now, we're criminal. Surrender so it is. Go with the flow. Okay, so we have betrayal on the bottom of the deck. Wife, ex-wife. Hmm. Somebody's a criminal. Somebody's maybe dealing with a criminal. Um, wife or ex-wife. Maybe this person that you. Well, my bad. Maybe some this person that you're dealing with could be uh could be a criminal. I mean. Oh, yeah, we got order protection. Okay, so wait. Well, criminal, the person, this fake friend, they could be dealing with a criminal who's secretly with somebody else. I feel like that's part of the karma, okay? Maybe somebody put an order of protection with this criminal or with her, okay? We have influencer here, music and uh, Taurus. I don't know if that relates or not, but it was a lot of cards that came out, so I'm going to put it back. So, okay, so that's what's going on with the criminal guy. Well, that, that could be that. They secretly with somebody else. So she's dealing with a nigga who's probably in and out of jail. Yeah, look, in and out of jail. Root chakra, like, you know, they're unstable. 
She could be life again, life at 22. I'm definitely talking to 22, 33. Yeah, look, competition, heartbreak. Yeah, she's dealing with somebody. Look, what I said earlier, whoever I'm talking to could be a heart, um, a heartbreaker. <laughs> could You could be a heartbreaker. Hey, okay. But tarot reader, okay, like I said, with, with all these life paths, you could definitely be a tarot reader. You are highly intuitive. You are a, a spiritual teacher, okay? So with... um. Well, heartbreak for sure. Spirit is giving me comp uh, competition. Bro, like I'm just all over the place right now. Confirmation that this competition, um, this secret competition, this bitch, right? She's dealing with somebody who's secretly with somebody else and he is a criminal, all right? He's in and out of jail. He's not secure. He doesn't have any, you know, he's just not steady. He's not secure, no stability. And he's with somebody else. So that's part of her karma, all right? Part of her karma, she's receiving heartbreak. She's receiving this betrayal. And I'm, and I'm feeling like all of this is because she tried to send this shit your way. She wanted to stop anything. Yeah, look, she just wanted you to stop. Yeah, because you get attention. She wanted to stop you from dating. She didn't want nobody to fuck with you, okay? She wanted you, look, root chakra. She wanted you to um, not be stable, not be secure. She tried to fuck with everything. With that graveyard dirt. Yeah, now she, yeah, she was planning. And now she's learning a fucking lesson not to fuck with you. That you are protected. Yeah, look, she's looking at a new perspective now. She's like, oh, shit, I should have never fucked with her. She's looking at things differently now. Like, oh, I should have never, yeah, look, alone. I should have left her ass alone. I should have never fucked with this bitch. I'm going to lay low now. <laughs> Hilarious. Hilarious. Anyways, I'm getting a lot of goosebumps right now, too. So that's a lot of confirmation. All right, y'all. So that was the reading. I hope I was able to give clarity to whoever needed to receive it. If this is your message, you already know what to do. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, and if you would like to book a, a full reading, we could definitely do that. Just send me a DM or check out the description and send me an email. All right. Take care.